this video is intended for audiences who are 13 and over. If you are not 13 and over, please fuck off and tell your parents to moderate what you watch online. Hey, I don't, hey, I don't think Daiji's, uh, is mentally well, you know? I yeah, think something's he's... off with him. Yeah, I think this is not usually what people mean with bipolar, where it's like, oh, you you you're being one side of the of a of a fucking like spectrum of emotion. You know, you're going from manic to depressed. You're not, this isn't the extreme that usually uh, fucking uh, nihilistic burn everything to the ground is not usually uh, part of those symptoms. Mm -hmm. That's this is way beyond that. Mm. This is. This is extreme bipolar. <laughs> this is to go. Uh, this is to go even further beyond. Oh, 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 oh beyond. Uh oh. Yeah. Mm. Well, would you say this? Uh, this is like a beyond generational thing. This is what... Oh, he's beyond the generations. Uh huh. Seeing as he's not listening to his dad, and this is, episode is all about elder abuse. I think we got all the generations mm, covered. Right. Hey, 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 look, 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 look. As Daiji said, look. You weren't my real dad, and my and you're not, and you were never my fake dad. You know, you, right? You were just what, play, what like uh, placeholder dad? Is this what you're telling me? No, you were just a man trying to make me call you daddy, and I refused because I'm not. Yeah, in I, I, I did not consent to that. You know, that was. I'm not part. Of, I am not a part of your D. I will not be your little. I will not be your little kitten. Okay. Oh, God, I am not going to. I will not oo woo you. Okay. <laughs> oh All right. God. You can't. You can't meet up with me. Look, listen, just because we talked on kick doesn't mean that we can <laughs> fucking uh, hang out and, and I I'm not meeting you IRL. No, absolutely not. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, things uh certainly take a turn. Yeah, so hey, look, this is an episode where we finally uh take take out the most sinister villain of all, senior citizens. Senior citizens. Oh my god. So hey, look. Look, hey, look, hey, look, are, are you saying that having old people in charge is not a good, it's not a good thing, well, right? You, you do think that people born, born in, in the 50s do not know about the problems that people growing up in the 2000s, oh wait, fuck, what do you mean, the two, errors would face in terms of problem, you know, right? Right? Yeah. What do you mean? Look, according to what the old people, all we have to do is get server jobs and pay off our, yeah, pay hey, off our college just a little set, bit. You know? Just a little bit less avocado on your toast, and yeah. you'll be fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should just go back to buying diamonds, you know? That that will restart the economy. I think that's the problem. We're not out there buying enough diamonds, right? I don't know. They bought enough diamonds to make Elon Musk his family rich, so I think that we, that might have been the mistake. Oh. <laughs> buying diamonds is how we get Elon Musk. Is, is that what you want? Oh. I mean, that's what, they, that's, what, that's what the old people want us to do. That's not what Twitter wants. Oh, hell, hell, hell. Twitter's gonna get what it wants, you know? Even if they have to go to court for it, right? Yeah, yeah. for sure. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no,
Like, he showed up in uh, Zio. Yeah, he wait, showed wait, up in... Wait, wait, wait. So you didn't think it was cool how they brought in this 40-year-old man and put him in 2000 in an outfit that a 20-year-old would wear in a visual K band? You didn't think that look, was cool? all that I'm was saying is... Uh, oh, look, right. look. Uh, the Chunibyo is supposed to be for 8th graders, not for fucking 80 year olds, like, alright? Some people just don't grow out of their phases, man. Yeah, some people definitely should, though. Yeah. Well, Dude, fucking, can I find a photo of him and oh, reprising his row in Zio? Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're gonna, you're gonna uh, okay. show me. You're gonna show me the wonders of. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you, you how cool he is. is. I mean, there should be. Isn't there a? Shouldn't the wiki have a before and after? Nope, it does not. Of him? Nope. Okay. It only. Has I'm gonna look it up. Thousand from his original appearance. All right. Hold on. I'll look oh, it up. I you keep it. talking. I found it. I found it. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So okay. So. Let's see, so I'm going to quickly pull up this image. Alright, wait, so this is what he looks like in 2011, alright? This is what Eternal, the, the actor for Eternal, looks like in 2011. And he's already kind of pushing this look. That's 2011, know? right? Uh, right? Uh -huh. That's, That's how we look right? then. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, 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 so this came, and Kamen Rider Zio was 2000. 19, right? 19? Mm -hmm. Right, so that's yeah. almost 10 years later, right? Okay. Right, and the guy at this time, I think, was probably it is. Well, let's see. Well, let's see. He's let's... gotta be at least 45 in that uh, fucking Let's do some quick fucking, math. So, let's see. So, uh, okay, Ooh, so born in 71. When's his birthday? So, 1971. 71, so he'd have been 46. All no. right. Yes. Uh, so, minus 2011. Uh, yeah, 40. Yeah, so he would have been in his 40s by then. Right? Mm -hmm. So then they brought him back in 2019, right? Okay. With this exact same... But they changed it. They had to make him update him because it's eight years. So you gotta show how cool it's... Yeah, so they finished. changed his... They changed his hair. That's how you know how... Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> it does... No. <laughs> <laughs> I like how this broke William. I mean, look... His rider suit is cool. I just think that everybody like the, the, the Eternal isn't is. <laughs> oh, oh no! It's not like he is completely over. Like it's not like it's completely undo hype. But it's it's every goddamn time they have to fucking me reference like, oh, what if another? What if one of the spinoff riders showed up? We're gonna use the fucking same goddamn Eternal every fucking time. It's like, yeah, people love I guess. Right, to be fair, William, at least his appearance wasn't as bad as when they brought back uh, the fucking Hell Brothers from Kabuto. That was really fucking bad. Oh boy. Kabuto yeah. came out in 2006, okay? Uh-huh, okay. Zeo came out in 2019, okay? Okay. I'm not gonna elaborate any further on that. You can you can do the math there. I, I mean, you know? I can, but I was waiting for images and everything too. Oh boy, lie. do you really want me to pull up images? Yeah, all right, you guys talk here. about the episode while I look up, while I look up, while I look up pictures. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. So anyway, hey, it turns out Daiji has really bad uh, learning comprehension skills. Uh, and uh, do we want to get there real quick? Because uh, uh, that's like near the end. But I mean. No, no, no. I mean, it's right at the beginning. It's hey, let's uh, we're reaching out our hands and. Thank, like, saving the plot comes an army of fucking Giftarians to uh, uh, conveniently split them away from Daiji. Yeah. First red flag is that Daiji has already left by the time they're all trying to leave. If some, if you're all trying to escape and you need to escape together, mm -hmm. and someone dips before everybody else, that's not a friend or a family member. That's a fucking survivalist trying to run from a bear. Like... That is, we don't have to outrun the bear, I just have to outrun you. I'm gonna let you guys so stay here and like fucking die. Him, like, you know, if you're walking with your dog, you just leave the dog behind with the bear and you just run off on your own. That kind of thing? That kind of vibe? Sure, assuming that you can outrun the dog, too. But, yeah. Um, but anyway, Gifu decides to revive Akaishi because we're not done with you yeah. yet. Uh, decides to wake him up in the sand as he's face down in the dirt. I'm very confused. Uh, only to tell him, fuck you, you're I'm fired. I'm kind of confused by it. I'm like, you could have just left him to die, you know? But it is, he's just... Uh, so I mean, I like guess... I remember for fucking for, for Punch Hopper. Oh, Jesus Christ. Kick Hopper still looks really good. The okay. actor for, for, for Kick Hopper still looks very good. But boy, the actor for Punch Hopper does not look fucking good. All right. Just, just to give you some context, William, because it's not that necessary, 
Punch Hopper and Kick Hopper were two riders in Kamen Rider Kabuto, mm -hmm. and one was a grasshopper that focused on punching, and one was a grasshopper that focused on kicking. And that's pretty much all the information that you really need to know. Right. There right, two so. dudes that had pretty, like, it was pretty right there on the nose of how they fucking fought, but that's how it worked. That's how the whole thing so set up. Right, so this is, was, uh, this is 2006? Uh -huh. This is how he looks at 2006? It's like a, look at a young Japanese man? So This is Punch Hopper, yeah, right? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, you know, that, that's not a good outfit. This is his normal outfit. Oh, fuck. They don't have a good <laughs> image of him. Fuck. Okay, never mind. Anyway, here, I'm just going to show you what this he looks is Punch like Hopper. when they brought him back in 2019. He's on the right, okay? Okay. Oh, oh, it's uploading. It's processing. Oh, oh, oh. waiting. Uh oh, uh oh. I yep, oh, did waiting, I lose connection waiting, as I'm trying to upload waiting. this image? Uh oh. Oh, oh there we go. There. We go. Oh, it's still uploading. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, that's not that's not great. I think it's a it's just the hair. What are they doing with the hair, man? No, I think it's the fact that they put him in that fucking outfit that he wore 13 years ago, right? Yeah, that too is not exactly. Yeah, but also it's a bondage choker and yeah, yeah, just that like. Yeah, because his character mm. outfit in 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 Kabuto, like oh, okay, yeah. Ago. So they thought like, all right, to oh, make sure that people wow. know who this is, we're gonna make you wear the same outfit your character wore thirteen years ago. Like, you couldn't do like. Because that's how we'll figure it, it out. Feels like it's an old man going through a midlife crisis trying to recapture his youth. <laughs> and how, you know? That's kind of what Zio felt like. That's actually, you know what. That's a pretty accurate description of the entire plot of Zio. Once it really get down to the brass tacks, it's about one middle-aged man trying desperately to cling to the past and uh, saying, "I liked Common Rider better back before in the uh, back when it used to be good." Yeah, back before they put gimmicks into it. Back before they made yeah. us try to buy a bunch of stupid stamps. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and and trading cards. Yeah, oh, and uh, and 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 fucking uh, fucking books that you can't even read. That fuck that just yeah. yells out a bunch of noises to you when you open it. Uh, That's not what I want. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I don't want a book to have a bunch of fucking noises he... and ruin the fucking audio mixing. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. At least he isn't like I. I scrolled up for a hot second just to look at the previous picture. I almost burst out laughing again. I'm not gonna... <laughs> he's not as bad. He's not as bad. Outside. Like, it's bad. Don't get me wrong. But he's not as... <laughs> it, it turtles? As a turtle? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just let him die! Just let him go! Because see, the worst part is, William, in the actual canon of the show, uh -huh. Eternal fucking redeemed himself and kills and dies, right? He's like, oh yeah, I accept my fate, you know, right? Oh, so he isn't even supposed to be coming back in any form of capacity, huh? No, no, he's yeah, actually, if you think he's actually, I'm gonna dead, be honest, but they keep if you think he goes that, to the grave and you, dig up his body and say, all right, you're back, we need you again. Oh my god. Yeah, the government needs you. But I got out of the game by dying. Well, we're bringing you. We, you're the only person we can call for this. <laughs> your teammates are if so dead. If you think that Revice is confusing with all of its like continuity mentions, Zio is uh, uh, even more difficult because it just openly says this is all about time travel. Well, all right. <laughs> anyway, I suppose we should be getting back into the episode. Anyway, yeah. going yeah, back, so anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, Daiji doesn't uh, want to come uh, home. Uh, Gifu's mad and he starts attacking him. I was like, uh oh, gotta get the fuck out of here, you know, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, fuck your Ararat. Yeah. And then we get like. Mm -hmm. uh, oh well, let's. But well, hold on, we're we're skipping ahead. We're we we're are. skipping past. Uh, uh, Papa Karizaki isn't dead yet. Oh yeah, no, that was the biggest scam that happened to me. I was like, yeah. Oh, I thought he, he keeps was thinking that he's dead, dead and then keeps him. not dying. <laughs> I still don't think he's dead by the end of this episode. Maybe next episode, but I doubt it. Oh. I want to see this man six feet underground, <laughs> and until I know that he's... Until I see them putting his body in a fucking, like, hole, I don't believe that he's dead. Mm. I need to see that shit get buried and closed up and sealed, because uh -huh. this man does not no, want to die. I mean, by way of how, like, everything else is going on, they'll probably, as Austin said, dig his body back up and then revive him in some form of capacity just to do some shit. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I mean, never stay dead, apparently, you know? Yeah, yeah. Who knows? Maybe the inner demon that he put inside of his three-year-old son is going to be a fucking uh, version of him. Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Hey, look. Can't... Sometimes you just have a kid lying around and you go, really, I can use this. He really told me, you know, when he says that, right? It's like, oh. Like, because it was pretty, like, they made it pretty obvious that like, he was dying last episode, and now they're saying, oh, yeah, no, that wasn't. 
Now to say, okay, now before I die for real, you know, now I'm gonna yeah. tell you my last secret, right? It really feels like that should have been something, like, it would have made sense if it had been, like, he left a message. Even if if they wanted to use the actor again, right? They had him leave a fucking video message oh or whatever, God, but he could have like, left like a fucking... Hell in the Death Note team Yeah, Japanese it's like, if you're reading this, hell? I'm dead, and here's a bunch of reveals that I have oh to boy. give to you. Okay. Real quick, but, like, I would go off an off the tangent. Oh. Since we're speaking of okay. this goddamn... Go have for you it. guys watched the Death Note show? Not, not the... The... The not, not the fucking not not the not the weird Netflix movie not the Japanese not the Netflix movie and not the movies that came out before. In so in like 2018, 19. Yeah, there was a there was a Death Note. Japan had oh god, what was it? Had a when Death Note Death TV Note? show, right? Like an actual new yeah. adaptation, I'm right? Of of a live action. Yeah, like a new live in action in Japan. Death yeah, Note I'm trying to remember. Wasn't related to any of the other. Death Note live action property. Live action series was 2015. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. Okay, never mind. So anyway, yeah, so that TV show came out, right? And that really annoyed the fuck out of me with how they handled that show. Because L still dies in that show, right? Because they still follow the manga story. So so you know how the, how the Death Note pretty much ends when they corner a, a light in the warehouse and everything? Right. It's like, ah, yeah. we got you. We got all the evidence, right? Mm-hmm. Right. We got all the mm-hmm. evidence. So, so pretty much in this new adaptation, when they quarter light in the warehouse, right? And say that after he killed everyone and everything, like, oh, but hold on, like, we got a surprise. They pull down a, a, they pretty much take out a fucking uh, projector and play, this is the last video that L wanted you to see. He's like, and then uh, it's just, I was like, I knew from the beginning. You are Kira, and I recorded this video before uh, I die. That is not to be played until there's confirmation that you are in fact Kira for you to be played as you are dying to let you know that I knew since the beginning and that this is not in the play video if light is Kira <laughs> section <laughs> and <Light>. folder <laughs> and not the play video if light is not Kira recorded. <laughs> <laughs> listen, shit, listen. L L would never make a would make a. Oops, he sorry al- for thinking that you were like. Yeah. You know? yeah. for... It was the. I couldn't contain myself when I was watching that, and he did that. Just like, the dumbest fucking. Like they literally could not let the let L die. Yeah. <laughs> it's the dumbest it's... fucking thing ever. I couldn't get over that. Okay. It's, it's the fucking dumb. Okay, anyway. All right. Now that I got that. No, no. I I still would say that probably makes more sense than fucking bringing him back. Then if like that'd be like okay comparatively to this that'd be like if L just rolled in on a fucking wheelchair and said guess what I'm a, I've been alive this whole time I just tricked you guys haha <laughs> and now I'm here to get all the glory and it's like what because also the thing is they only delayed his death by like an episode <laughs> like uh like. He doesn't even die in this fucking episode. Mm-hmm. The, they get interrupted by fucking Akaishi going off and fucking uh, uh, white man in America in this and just fucking just seeing a happy, peaceful countryside and going, I must destroy this. I must attack. Oh, yeah, hey, hey, uh, you know that war setting we've been making that we've been established with the last few episodes that everyone was in? Oh, no, no, no. Just this fucking area, apparently, not affected by the war. Y'all know because it's no. He goes into Ararat. Yeah. He's in the he's in the the cordoned off zone. He's going into the shelter, which as which when you think about for the irony of like, well, we went here to escape getting attacked by the war zone. Oh, anyway, uh, jokes on you. This is all just a. This has turned into like shooting fucking crabs in a barrel, like (laughs) just popping you all. You're all stuck. I also I must say I really like the uh, return of. Uh, the classic from Build, the wall, the giant CGI wall, <laughs> uh, because it, uh-huh. it they didn't have to make it a giant CGI wall, they didn't have to make this part, but they really wanted to, to remind us that this is an enclosed pen for people to just get blasted in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you, oh, you know, it also makes for yeah, a cool good. Good thing they had this wall ready at, at some point, you know. Yeah, yeah, but you know, also he's red now. Uh, yeah, he's like, he's, he's like fucking, uh, Tamaki when he went, uh, or rather Julio when he went fucking full, uh, Giftarian. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I, 
here's the thing. Yeah, you know, put, put, put some, some of that red filter on, on you know? It, right? This... Will, will he also be a, a, a repaint toy or something? I've been wondering about that, too. I mean, he look, so. if I've learned anything from Gundam, and the fact that for Double O, you can buy every single one of the Gundams, but you can also buy them in the Trans Am red color. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then you can do that for when Gundam, when the second season of Gundam Double O comes out, you could do that for every single one of the new Gundams. <laughs> okay. And then when the movie came out, you could do that for every single one of the movie Gundams. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, yeah. They, they really like... Listen, I, it wasn't until you said put the red filter on it where I went, oh, it's Trans Am. This is Double O. It's, it's Gundam Double O and it's Trans Am. It's going Super Saiyan. That's it. This is all it is. Hey, this is a short aside. Gundam Double O, great show. But also, uh, they had a whole thing where people were fucking mobile suits could go Super Saiyan, and it wasn't stupid. I promise. <laughs> the quick aside, we needed that there. But, yeah. Um, so, yeah, Akai is just fucking blowing everyone up, right? Yeah, yeah, but, 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 yeah. But, not, but, but not, but not, but not before uh, Hiromi tells Daiji to stop it, you know? Like, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah, we skipped get some that help. part, didn't we? Stop it. <laughs> yeah, get yeah, some help. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, where he's just like, man, yeah. my life Also, apparently, not everyone great can here. just fucking enter within the wall, you know? There's, like, no security. Well, no, he broke a hole through the. He. They, they busted a hole? I, I couldn't tell what it was, no, really. It looked like it he was just like, walked in and then he made a giant hole, right? Wait, who are you talking. Are you talking about the. Are you talking about Team Everybody versus, uh, goddamn. Uh, Akaishi or the or Akaishi himself or Daiji? I think Daiji and Akaishi. It looks like they were already in the safe zone, right? They just walked in, right? Before they started I mean, attacking everyone. Okay, so it looks like it died. It looks like Iki and everybody just run through it. Yeah, no, yeah, they, they break, break th they break a hole with the Gifford Rex stamp. Oh, Don't yeah, ask right. me how this. Mm -hmm how the stamp can just blast a hole through. Because they didn't use it by transforming. Yeah. They just threw the stamp through and it made a mm -hmm. hole for them. Mm -hmm. And then I'm assuming that everybody just came in through that yeah, hole. Yeah, okay. And that's how... They destroy it, mm -hmm. they go and have yeah. their cool entrance, like, oh, we're the cool... But I mean, I'm assuming that for... I'm assuming that for Hiromi and his trooper squad, that that's how they got in, I mean, too. yeah, probably. Right. Because, you know, this looks like it's the only entrance into in and out of Ararat, you know? So... Yeah. Well, yeah, now it's a new entrance. Uh, we made... When we why go through the front door when you can go through the new door? <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. But yeah, and th anyway, so they decide that the only way to deal with this is to commit, uh, is to put down this old man. Which, you know, uh, just like look, look, they have to teach this old man a lesson, you know? Yeah, god damn it! Wait, hey, don't spoil the meme. <laughs> oh, okay, oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. No, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, it lends itself to, to, to the meme pretty well. But yeah, Hiromi's like fucking mm -hmm. yeah, evacuating well. like everybody, and then finally we get yeah, he's like, like as, as, as he hey, is because that's all he's good don't for. Don't be in this war zone, you know. Please run. You you've all yeah. made a terrible decision with your lives. And look, it's, you shouldn't look, have it's trusted the creepy like old man. He did World War Z when everyone was in the stupid wall, right? Anything? All right, this is safe, you know. Let's just play very loud music. To a, yeah. Right, and hopefully that the zombie don't get attracted to this very, and then they don't adapt and start building a giant pile to get over our wall, you know. And we should yeah. probably not. I hope have they don't security. climb over their own bodies yeah. to get over. Right, and we should probably not have security enforced at these wall at any given time, you know. Right. Yeah. 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 You know. Yeah. Also, yeah, I don't know. I wonder where is the security for like fucking out of that. You think they'd be doing oh, uh, that's Daiji. That's Daiji. Daiji. It's Daiji. The the security is Daiji and Akaishi summoning any number of de uh, dead mans to fucking like protect they, they them. That's that's all they've got. Uh -huh. Summon any dead mans, but yeah. No, he didn't. Cause he's killing every. I mean, he. Let's be real. If he had really wanted to do this, I guess he should have just summoned all the dead mans to fucking attack. But like, yeah. it, instead, the the uh, his option is just I'm just gonna start blasting. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And we, we. Uh, but anyway, in the in the prime in the prime tactical decision, uh, the goal is: hey, you three with no power up forms, you all go fight the the big scary old man. Me and Vice, we're gonna go fucking uh fight the fight the devil. I mean, I I guess, uh, sure. 
why are we trusting Hikaru to, to actually pull this off? Oh, because this he is a very he bold. A He's been working on it, you know. He's oh been training God. every day <laughs> at was... night, you know. I've been in the backyard, you know. He's just <laughs> yeah. I've been punching. I've been punching and ki I've been punching, kicking, push ups, sit ups, and lots of juice. I'm I'm real. I'm here. I'm ready to go. Yeah, look, my training is paying off, you know. I've been training for this exact moment right here. I at the start of this year, I got that Gold's Gym membership, all right? And I'm fucking ready to show off my summer bod. It's hey, it's Beach Week and I'm showing off my hot new summer bod. It's called a fucking nightmare amalgamation of it gets destroyed of, in this war zone, you know, right? Right? Cuz once that gym is destroyed in this war zone, I can't go back. I can't get my deposit back. So I need to make the so, most out of it so right now. So he might as well put all the, uh, all the worth into it, you know, and not make right? it so that you just before, buy it before it gets destroyed like next year or so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. But yeah, also Yeah, no, mean, I just think it's funny how 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 the data thing I and look, we couldn't beat Akaishi when he was in base form, you know, but I think this time when he's when he's power up. I think we've base, really got a chance, I, guys. I think we can really do it. Yeah, I think we have a better chance now, you know, right? And Red can mean he's weak, you know, right? Yeah. You know, it's like it's it's like bosses in Mega Man, you know. Usually when they change their final form, they're they're damaged. The blinking means that they're damaged. And then changing into a bigger form, that just means that they're ready to die. That's how it is. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how it is. But yeah, he mm -hmm. also takes, like, what, five years to fucking charge up, too, and everything. He's just standing there, just like... Uh, yeah. Hey, don't worry. I've gotten stronger. Can Proceeds to then struggle with every single fucking add-on that he's doing. Uh, <laughs> God, dude. This is what we get. I've got to oh. say, it... So, it's the same thing that, uh... I don't even remember what the fuck Olteca's real name was. I don't care. He doesn't deserve to get called a real name. Just call him uh, here. Dumb... Give him a name. Uh, dumb bitch uh, boy who got... Uh, who was mad that other people were smart. Um, <laughs> fucking did the same shit with fucking goddamn... With with uh, the Demon's Driver and, like, adding everything on. But... I, it's... I hate to say it, but, like... Cause I like, I like over demons. Mm -hmm. Beetle parts. Mm -hmm. I hate everything else. Right. Mm -hmm. I hate it. I hate them together. And okay. then when you put all of that stuff on top of it, uh, and it's you start adding on even more parts, and it gets even like, if it, if it didn't look good before, throwing more shit on it of of varying colors does not make it look better. <laughs> look. Like. Look, at some point, look, 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 see, look, they realized that people were complaining about the suit design, so they realized, if we had more stuff to take people's eyes away from the suit, they can't hate the suit, so you know, like, right? So it's like, learn to appreciate it when we make it look like a monstrosity. Yeah, look. look yeah, well, if, we, we, look. if we make it too bad, if we make it fucking terrible, then they won't know what to complain about. <laughs> To be fair, it's a very good strategy. I'm not sure if it works in their favor. In yeah, mode, right. But. It's like you, you know that time. You know that time tested strategy of your parents tell you to clean your room, so you take a big dump on your fucking floor and go. I don't know, mom. There's a lot of shit everywhere. I don't know what the. Uh, uh, there's too much to fucking clean. I can't, I can't clean, clean all house, of it. Guess know, what? Just leave many, it. I can't clean up my room if I'm too busy cleaning up the living room now. You know, right? Yeah. Oops. I yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I couldn't get the I couldn't get the kitchen. I mean, the chicken out of the fridge because I had to grab the other stuff out the fridge. You know, right? Yeah. I got. Uh -huh. Oh Jesus! It's such a. It's so. <sighs> it's not the payoff I wanted. It's really not. I'm glad that Hikaru like got some kind of a win. You just added all that. Literally makes no fucking sense. Plus, I'm looking at this. I'm... This form where the this Geomex. Geonize, or whatever the fuck they want to call this. Boy, this thing looks such like a CGI hindrance. Yeah, I mean... Oh, the genomics? Like, full... The, the genomics thing? Yeah, yeah, the full the full armor Megazord form, right? Because exactly I think we talked is. about it when... I think we talked about it when, when Ulteca did it. It was like... I mean, this could look a lot worse. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not that bad. And somehow they absolutely listened to that part and went, yeah, it could. It could look a lot worse. And, yeah. like, it's... That, like, half cape is really the thing for me that, like, is selling it. Of just, like, ooh, that that probably could have been... That could have been better. Mm -hmm. Like, 
I mean, like we always been talking, like we always talk about how it's just like there's too much color scheme going on it, right? Because he had because he had brown, turquoise, silver, the red and the the red and the blue, right? And yeah. All that, and there's just too much color palette on this thing. It just doesn't right? look great. It's just yeah. Ooh. It doesn't help that all the Geomex have to take up the take the color of the riders that they're based on, right? Like I think it's the Geomex shit, right? Mm -hmm. We're all taking were was like a simple color scheme that. Goals with the suits, right? Yeah, if it match somehow. Instead of just having like to say, instead like, of having like the Condor j wings be purple because it's based on Common Rider j Joker, right? Like, and yeah, and it was like actually uh over Demon's color scheme. I probably would have looked way better, right? It still looked chunky, but if anything, at least it wouldn't be like ho like horrible to the eyes in terms of the color scheme. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah, it wouldn't be offensive. It wouldn't be offensively cluttered. It would still, just yeah. be offensive. That's basically. Basically, how it, how mm -hmm. it would be that. Yeah, just your base level offensiveness, yeah. not specifically uh -huh. offensive. Yeah, but don't worry, Iki leads Vice to, to die while he goes fights Akaishi, you know? No, no, Vice can handle... Listen, it's... It, uh, if we've learned anything, leaving Vice by himself to try and keep up the fight has never gone wrong, ever. Mm -hmm. And luckily, it hasn't in this one. Although, yeah, I'm kind but of surprised he, that it didn't. I mean, luckily, I guess the battle ended... Soon enough that he couldn't yeah, like but here's fuck the it up. Thing, though. Then you get Iki kind of just hanging around and watching like the fight happen, you know? Oh no, yeah, he, he doesn't see, really he wants to see rush how back. Hikaru's fucking over demons for him. Is. Yeah, let's see yeah, what. Cool, let, hey, who, what's this payoff up, gonna right? be? I gotta at, see the payoff, yo. He's been talking about it all weekend. Where he's been like, yeah, you, Hikaru's like, yeah, I've been going to the gym every night, you know, for the last week. And Iki's like, okay, I want to see. I'm really seeing some. Pay I'm really seeing a payoff. Like, it's you should come work out with me. <laughs> After this, I hope that Iki fucking took his goddamn, like, gym membership card and threw in the trash. Like, <laughs> god, this... Uh, uh -huh. God damn it, fucking Hikaru, just do better, man. Like, just and do look, better. He gotta prove himself to his dead dad that, that never gave his him any His dead, respect. not dad. His dead dad that was gaslighting him. Mm -hmm, right, you have to prove it to him, you know, right? Yeah. Even though it's not gonna matter now. Yeah, this hard. It's kind of hard to prove things to a dead man. <laughs> uh, but gonna be honest, yourself, you know, right? Look, like he's like, oh, like, he's like, he's like, this is what he would have said to me if he saw me. You know, he would have think this was been the cool. This would have been the cool. He would have specifically said, he called, if there's wow, one, yeah, you if are there's so one thing cool. I, I am proud that you are my, you are my fake son who I treat better than my real dead children that I am fighting for. You are my new favorite son. That is what Hikaru says to himself <laughs> every night. Yeah. yeah. I I just like how it's like if there's one thing that we know about uh his dead dad is that he was always a really big fan of praising Hikaru and he definitely was going to give a shit about whether or not Hikaru specifically avenged him. Mm -hmm. I think he was just a fucking terrorist that was like, "Look." Mm -hmm. Like I think he was just a fucking terrorist, and he would have just been happy to see the fucker die. And I think that's all he needed to have. But no, we've got to make it poetic, thematic. Here's mm -hmm. the justice that he needs to have. Mm -hmm. God damn it, Hikaru. Yeah. Hikaru, no, go fuck yourself. Okay. <laughs> 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 but... When we have, like, fucking, like... I mean, aside, Hikaru aside, and, you know dead fathers aside well i suppose it's still on topic. okay we get like fucking daiji coming in right with like fucking like oh yeah in the meanwhile meanwhile yeah, in, the, in the meanwhile he's just kind of walking up doing this whole ominous walk he's like i know what i must do and he doesn't like he doesn't say that anything to hiromi right and so he just kind of b beats him up no he just says no he just says to hiromi like hey look I don't want to let, uh, fucking, uh, my fight with Kagero, uh, go to waste, since I killed him, and I can't really, uh, be at peace with him anymore. Which kind of goes back to what we were saying about whether or not this lesson that, uh, Genta was trying to teach him would mean anything, because it's like, it doesn't really apply to I mean, Daiji. I don't really see him getting, like, a clear message from this. Like, the only thing that it seems to have done is... Make him think, well, the message was to make peace with your demon, but I don't have my demon anymore, so I guess I'll just be an asshole. Mm -hmm. Right? I can't make peace with, with, with a demon inside where I don't have, if I don't have one, you know? Yeah, well, you know, right? then, but that's the thing. Then Daiji gets the lessons like, oh, 
to for, to forgive my own demons, I have to find my own demon to replace him with. You know, <laughs> it, it just comes into the whole thing where I mean, uh, after of course that da, uh, Daiji gets that whole moment where he you know kills off Akaishi. You know, after mm -hmm. he's like, hey man, you can't save humanity, so I'm just gonna you, you know fucking like uh, uh, like kill you executioner style. You know that whole thing. Mm -hmm. And then he has the whole moment where uh, fucking he's, he's he's just talking like to Gif is like you know what let's make let's make a contract you and I let's have a talk like right in front of everybody you know and then it's just well guess this is the direction we're Look, going now <laughs> uh it he's committing to the bit you know if there's one thing you can say about Daiji. He never gives up on a bit. Even if he's... He's a real little prankster. He'll... He's a great comedian. He's just like, hey, this is super funny, right? Everybody loves this. So I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm just gonna keep on doing this. It's gonna be so funny when I say, oh, it was just a prank, bro. It was part of my experiment. I was just doing a, 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 a public... What the fuck do they call that shit? Uh, uh, not a thought experiment. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm just doing a social experiment to see... How much I can put my family through before they fucking send me to goddamn hell? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what. I mean, did we? That's where the episode ends, basically. Because we don't see mm -hmm. anything else afterwards. Did we skip over anything else? Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, there's like not a lot. Like this episode was pretty straightforward, you know, right? I mean, like there's like, there's like little character bits, you know. Yeah, right like, oh, about yeah. that's it. Like with Iki continuing to lose his fucking memory and shit, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he doesn't know what Sukiyaki is anymore. Oops. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know. No hot pot yeah, for you. Get hot pot because he doesn't know what hot pot is. We, mm -hmm. we talked about like, right. fucking George and this fucking like potential demon thing, right? Oh yeah. Well, okay. Here, yeah, I mean, well, I mean, here's the thing. It's not potential. Oh, he well, definitely yeah, is a demon. Yeah, 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 yeah. If anything, it explains. Dad transferred over to him. He's like, he's like, he's like, look. If anything, like, look, if dad, anything that explains why George had. Notice of having to pay the half. Of the... I don't want to pay with this. I'll just put this under my son's name. You know, right? Yeah. Like, oh, I can't. It's like if I fake my own death and leave my son with my demon, he can handle my debts. <laughs> Yeah, you know, as any good self-respecting father would do to his for for his children, you know, he would just like yeah, yeah. let him let him pay off the mm -hmm. debt. He doesn't have to worry about that shit. Yeah, that's what you do. Boy, hey, they, they, they boy, they really want to make sure that they got this uh the actor for young Papa Kurosaki, right? No, they're like, like, oh look, we still have you. We're gonna get as much as we can for footage with you, you know, before. before I've got to say, he's a he's a good-looking actor. I would be surprised if he doesn't wind up showing up in like some kind of future. Get reused in some kind of uh, Sentai I mean, Tokusatsu I shit. He, I mean, he's the he played Ultraman. He was the yeah, 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 yeah. But but Toei. Oh, Toei. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, so what what has he been? Oh no, he has literally just been in Ultraman. That's it. Okay, never mind. I thought he's been in other stuff. He's only been in Ultraman. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, but huh. I think otherwise this episode's pretty straightforward, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll kill Daiji. He might get a new demon next episode. Ooh. Uh, oh, you, what do you mean, might? Or a new form? Ooh, that could be true. You know, and look, who has the de who has the demon belt now? Is again. Look. Uh, well, hey, Hiromi, don't worry. I'm sure Hiromi will be fine. Mm -hmm. All right. Also, hey, what did before we? Hey, so I keep forgetting that Vice's entire character gimmick is to break the fourth wall in this show, right? Yeah. Bruce. But I'm pretty sure they wrote this early on mm -hmm. in the show's production, right? It's like, oh yeah, the kids will love a character that breaks the fourth wall and do zany jokes, right? But we're gonna reach the part of the series where it's actually, they have to take some seriously. So him breaking the fourth wall now is just really fucking weird because he doesn't deliver anything with breaking the fourth wall, right? Didn't he... Didn't they address it in fucking, uh... In, in, uh, in, in fuck, what was it? Beyond Generations or something? Yeah, sort at the of beginning. They did, but there was more like... We didn't talk about that, did we? Where it's just like, he just... Yeah, he just shows, all like, common like, jokes, he actually, like, who the fuck are you actually, about? like, addresses him and goes, Uh, hey, so, I, I've been meaning to ask this. Who, who the fuck are you talking to? And I don't yeah, know. At this point, like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And it's just like, yeah, he's just like, don't. And then, then, then it goes at least nowhere with it, right? Yeah, it's just like a. It's That's just the problem. A like, yeah. If you're gonna have a character that breaks the fourth wall like that, right? You have to pay it off somehow. I mean, does does right. also. Hey, they still have seven episodes to pay that it is off. True, maybe. they have. They do have six. Uh, look, look, it's not August yet, you know, right? 
They still have, yeah, like... Yeah, if they want to keep using fucking, uh, spending all this time focusing on Daiji's thing, yeah. and, I mean, to be fair, they, the reveal for, uh, Iki's shit with the fucking, uh, with the memory loss paid off pretty succinctly in about five minutes once, like, Vice took time to explain it. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. I... Can't imagine oh, that they're going wow, to take wow, that I much time to really. The problem in Revis could have been solved if a character just sat down and had a good five minute conversation <laughs> with one another. Maybe other characters should do this more, you know? No, <laughs> no what? How could that. Just like... How are you being talking? Is talking? Why talk when you can punch? Or All kick? right. Why should we. Why? Look, look, look. Look, look. The male masking. Uh, Japanese schoolboys do not like to talk about their problems. They like to see violence instead, you know, right? That's what we gotta appeal to, you know? Right? Not yeah. having good heart to heart talk here, here's with the, one another. Here, here's the violence. Here, here's the thing. They tried the violence bit before, like, two episodes ago, didn't they? Yeah, we've tried violence. We've tried displaying violence. We have still not really... Well, I mean, to be fair, I guess Hiromi has tried the talking approach. I've gotta be honest, at a certain point, you just gotta put a fucker what? down. And you just gotta say, listen, this this isn't worth it. You're not worth it what anymore. Fight uh -huh. and talk at the same time. Maybe that'll. Maybe oh, that's idiot. that. Well, then I you mean, become that, that, then you become Naruto. That worked with Genta, you know. I mean, Genta solved his problems by having a punch talk, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you know, that required him going into his mindscape and being all like, "Hey, let's have a talk while you're." Oh you're wait, like, so do you think every problem can be solved? Everyone just has like a mindscape uh, discussion. You oh, know? that's oh, that sounds like Gundam yeah, again. Oh. <laughs> Oh, well, is everything back to Gundam? <laughs> Listen, at at cer at a certain point in almost every Gundam series, you become transcendent and are able to con to communicate in the magical space time space of fucking uh, new types or whatever the fuck they're calling it in that series, and then they go and fucking they, they talk about their feelings, only to be wistfully killed at the last minute because they couldn't get to, uh, reach a, a goddamn middle ground beforehand. So I'm sure things will go perfectly fine for Daiji. Mm -hmm. Here's a picture of a goddamn... Honestly, I made this for fucking Akaishi, but it should have been fucking Daiji, really, who fucking who they had to teach. Yeah, but you mm -hmm. know, that, that'll probably be next episode. Uh, but, but with the mm -hmm. way Daiji's track record goes, I don't think it'll be next episode where he'll learn. Oh, well, hell, do you think they'll, do you think they'll actually kill Daiji off before the end of the show? I wouldn't think so, right? if only because of like fucking Iki's I'm, whole thing. I'm, with, like, I'm, family. I'm at this point, I'd rather have Kagero control the body. <laughs> Fuck Daiji. Mm -hmm. Let's let the psychopathic fucking demon oh, yeah. be in charge for oh, a yeah, bit. Also, I can't, Let's oh, see yeah, what I happens with these hey, around. I like it when Ok actually took the side and beat the shit out of everyone with, with, with it. Look, there's been a lot of... there's been a, This is not also not the only time that he's beaten Sakura with her own side. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah. It's that's... pretty great. Like, I like me. Sakura so realized something was like, boy, hey, maybe, maybe having them give me weapons cost it's probably not a good idea you know maybe i should just get like an upgrade form or something too you know yeah if only there was something that could actually bond me and love cop together to give me a power up form nope new weapon <laughs> yeah hey it's canon now george hates women <laughs> oh my god i mean <laughs> god this is that's a take i mean he did that's probably did no no i'm sorry i'm sorry his father's driver you know uh, Papa Karizaki's demon See, hates now, women. That, oh. that I would believe. All right, because where, look, mm. where, where was his? Where, 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 where's the mother? Huh? Where is she? During all of this. I mean, not. Uh, she's fucking uh, taking care of her son after her husband selfishly died. Oh well, okay. I thought. I mean, it was implied I mean, was he, to, like, George. George canonically says like that his dad left him and his mother. Oh, mm -hmm. I left forgot, okay. in quotes, I, and I then it's like, and then it's like, but he was dead. So I mean, he left in the way of dying, and then he finds out that he was faking it. So he left in the terms of, no, he went for cigarettes and didn't come back. Mm -hmm. I mean, the cigarette in this case was his face, but yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, cigarette burns. They, uh, they're not great. <laughs> Yeah, spontaneous combustion is a real thing that sometimes happens that's to people. What, that's, what, that's what happens if you, you know, smoke up demons or something, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, sure hope that uh, vice stamp that uh, Papa Karazaki stamped onto George doesn't become relevant later on. Anyway. Um, I suppose that's it. 
Yeah, that's that, that, That's it. Yeah, hey. Hey, all right, all right. Hey, I have to go. Uh, there's a pl- there's a taxi outside. I got to get to the airport, you know, right? Yeah, go go beat the go go be the the best there ever was. That's right. Catch them all. Mm-hmm. Wait, no, that's not it. Uh uh, uh, get your game on. Yeah, that's right. Well, I got no. it. Hey, 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 the voice actor for Jaden is, is here this weekend, you know, so. I'm, oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna get stuff, I'm gonna get some GX, I'm gonna get some hero card side, you know. Hey, you still have my Dark Law, uh, Do I? uh center. Oh, yeah, yeah. I never got it from you. Oh, yeah, oh, Get that, that sign yeah, for yeah. me. Oh, uh, you wanna get that side? You wanna get that side yeah. for you? Yeah, yeah, I'll get that side. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, yeah, I, good I, yeah, man. Yeah. All right, there we go. All right, hey, have fun at Yu-Gi-Oh! Nationals this week. Mm-hmm. Anyway, yeah, this that, that's the show. Coronavirus still a thing. Everything's on fire. Uh, Ukraine's still at war. Uh, Kate, thanks. Bye.